Hey there, sound snobs. I have some videos coming, uh, going over lots of materials, <clears throat> including hemp. But we need to have a talk. A mortal to mortal. A heart to heart. I love hemp. But hemp wool insulation, the building insulation we put in our walls, will never be quality acoustic treatment. I'm sorry. It's, it's physically impossible. On their own, I remember their testing to be slightly better than cheap acoustic foam, which is not the worst, but it is nowhere close to acoustic mineral wool or fiberglass, which is what we are trying to beat out. And hemp can be that. I have the tests to prove that, but it needs to be engineered differently. And right now I'm just doing it in my office. The nuts and bolts of the issue come down to the air pockets needed to achieve one, maximum R value, and two, to prevent thermal bridging. Hemp fiber insulation cannot absorb enough frequencies because it provides too much airflow. It doesn't have enough airflow resistance. It's just physics. For a critical listening environment, if you are doing recordings, you want something that is, uh, that, that's gonna be better, that's gonna perform better. Because foam ain't gonna do it, and neither is the hemp wool insulation. I'm sorry. The density required to absorb the same amount of frequencies as the toxic competitors would cause thermal bridging and fail to provide the lightweight and thoughtful design that hemp wool has already achieved. Our dope insulation is officially dope, but it is not quality acoustic treatment. I personally modify those panels to make them quality acoustic treatment. I used to soak it, crush it with a pipe, dry it, then mount it, and they were dope, but time consuming and it was killing me. I moved to layering hemp felt and recycled hemp fabric, creating the dopest absorption imaginable. You can make this yourself. Quarter inch hemp felt, four per inch. If you got a two inch panel, you need eight layers, at least. Nine, even better, you know. Just keep layering it, pressing it, it's great stuff. But mix it with recycled fabric. If you have some clothes you're getting rid of, layer it in between. Those, uh, those changes in density and weaves help out with acoustic absorption. Make something fucking dope. With a little borax or some non-toxic flame retarder like the one listed below in the video description, any one of you can create a dope panel that will outperform a mineral wool panel, a fiberglass panel, a rock wool panel of the same depth while providing the same fire protection as our toxic and itchy counterparts without the off-gassing. I have dope panels that will outperform fiberglass. They are 100% dope and bored, and felt and fabric, but they are two to three times the cost because every point of the supply chain is restricted by what is arguably a stupid network of laws designed to favor certain industries. And despite how well hemp performs, how well it grows, how much better it is for our soil, how much the bees love it, or how great a carbon capture crop it is, these stupid laws prevent farmers from growing it, farmers from buying equipment to process it, or processors from processing, or manufacturers from manufacturing with it, shippers from shipping. I, I, can't, I can't ship it with certain sh uh, shipping companies. They refuse to touch anything hemp. Ad space, I can't get in certain ad space. I get kicked off of a Facebook marketplace or Google all the time, just because I say dope, just because I say hemp, but it's fucking dope. Why can't I say it? I'm just saying, it prevents stores from selling. It is oppressing this industry. And this isn't new. It's better than it was. But this has been going on for almost a hundred years. This all drives up the cost of hemp goods. This is why it's not in our clothes. This is why it's not everywhere. Anyways, love you guys. I hope this helps out. Reach out to me, I can help you out. And I'll list below some non-toxic natural fiber insulation bats. They're, they are more expensive, but they are better than mineral and fiberglass. And they have the NRC rating to prove that. So in time, I'm hoping to make my stuff with hemp because it's carbon negative, because it's, it's rugged, because it's straight from the crop and it's just simpler. It will be a more effective design, but it's gonna take time because I ain't made of money.